if you've been playing Grey Zone Warfare for a bit and you found that the stability hasn't been great, the frames have been a bit iffy and other problems, there might not actually be the game that's the issue despite it being in early access. Sometimes if you found that the game crashes from the out of video memory error or just crashes to desktop randomly without warning, this is obviously be frustrating, but it could actually be down to your CPU. If you happen to have an i9 processor and an Zeus motherboard, then you might find that not only is your CPU running too hot, but also there are stability issues with Unreal Engine games. And it's not just Grey Zone, but other games too, including Fortnite and PUBG and other games like that. Those are particularly problematic. So I'm going to show you a fix that you can do, which unfortunately involves updating your BIOS, but then has an easy change that you can make, which will really improve stability. So first thing to do is to go into your BIOS and check your current BIOS version. You can see mine is 0801. Then we need to head over to the ASUS website for your particular motherboard. I'm using the ROG Strix Z790A Gaming Wi-Fi 2 as an example here. Head over to the support page and then driver and utility and then latest BIOS and firmware updates. Find that and download it. Obviously you want to make sure you're downloading the one for your system and the newest one because it'll update properly. So you'll see that this one reverts to factory default settings for power limits and improve stability in certain games and it's noted there so download that and then we need to extract the file so go to your downloads right click and click extract all and then extract it to a usb stick which you've already formatted and put it in there now once this is done you should find that you have a couple of files in there so what i'm going to do is actually make a copy of the main cap file and then use the BIOS renamer tool to change the name of it to A5459, which is what it defaults as, and then just delete copy off the end of that cat file. The reason for that is there's two different ways to update your BIOS that I want to quickly show you. One is really straightforward, but a little bit more intimidating, I think, and that is using the BIOS USB port on your motherboard. So you see it marked BIOS here. What you want to do is to put your drive into that BIOS port. And then what you can do is you can press and hold the BIOS flashback button on your motherboard if you happen to have one and wait until the little light comes on and lets you know that's working. And then it will just keep flashing while it's doing the BIOS process. And then it, when it goes off, it's finished. That's pretty intimidating though. I think this one is a bit more straightforward and that's going into your BIOS. And then we're looking for the tool section under the advanced sections for Easy Flash 3. And in there, you then find the BIOS file that we've got, so the main one, and then click to read it. Now you need to take care with any BIOS update that you don't power off your system while it's happening. It does take quite some time and your system will turn off and on again repeatedly. So it's best just to wait for the whole thing to finish. Don't panic at any point and just let it do it. It takes quite some time. So be patient and be careful. BIOS updates can cause problems if not done properly. And they generally warn you not to do them unless you really need to. But obviously if you've got i9 stability issues, then you definitely do need to do this BIOS update because it will help a great deal, assuming that you've got the, a new BIOS update for your system. Then what you need to do is go back into the BIOS and check and look and you'll see in the top left corner, we're now running BIOS version 1202. Re-enable XMP because all of your settings may have been set to default and thereby broken if you had anything else in there. For example, resizable bar may also need turning back on and that's worth doing as well. And then under the advanced section, you'll find under AI Tweaker, the Intel baseline profile. Click on that and you'll get a little note warning you that it's going to drop performance but should improve stability. And I'm happy to report that doing this, I have indeed found that the games run a lot smoother. There's a noticeable drop in CPU temperatures as well while gaming. And more importantly, the games are now stable, which means that you can just go on and win your games without crashing and losing your progress or just letting your teammates down because you've died because you got disconnected in the middle of a fight. So hopefully this will help fix your issues too. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. And it's also worth knowing that Intel and various motherboard manufacturers are rolling out BIOS updates and fixes. So no matter what motherboard you have, there should be future fixes for this that will help. I've done a more in-depth video on this on my main channel that's worth checking out when I go into the details on other tweaks that you can do in your BIOS settings and such. So I'll link to that in the description in case you're curious. If this has helped below, subscribe for more. Thanks very much for watching.